Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard launched a second satellite into space, the country's state-run news agency reported Monday, just as world powers awaited Tehran's decision in negotiations over the country's tattered nuclear deal. The Erna report did not identify where or when the launch took place. However, it came as Iran's top diplomat at the months-long talk suddenly flew home late Monday for consultations, a sign of the growing pressure on Tehran as the negotiations appear to be nearing their end. The Guard said the newer two satellite reached a low orbit on the GAST satellite carrier, Erna reported. It described the GAST as a three-phase, mixed-fuel satellite carrier. Nur means light and Farsi. The Guard launched its first newer satellite in 2020, revealing to the world it ran its own space program. Meanwhile, Erna described negotiator Ali Bagheri Khani's trip home as being within the framework of the usual consultations during the talks. However, the top negotiator for the European Union seemed to suggest whether the talks succeeded or failed now rested with the Islamic Republic. There are no longer expert-level talks. Nor formal meetings, Enrique Mora wrote on Twitter, responding to comments by an Iranian analyst. It is time, in the next few days, for political decisions to end the hashtag Vienna talks. The rest is noise. Mora's comments mirror those of British and French negotiators at the Vienna talks, which has been working to find a way to get America back into the accord it unilaterally abandoned in 2018 under then-President Donald Trump. It also hopes to get Iran to again agree to measures that drastically scaled back its nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. They also appear to push back against a constant Iranian refrain in the last weeks of talks that tried to blame any delay on America, which hasn't been in the room for talks since Trump's withdrawal. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Sunday said he believed we're close on reaching a deal, though there were a couple of very challenging remaining issues. The latest wrinkle, however, is a demand Saturday from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov that Blinken offer written guarantees over Moscow's ability to continue trade with Iran as it faces sanctions over its war on Ukraine. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amirablahian spoke Monday by phone with Lavrov, with the sanctions threat apparently discussed, according to a statement from his office. We are against war and imposition of sanctions, and it is clear that cooperation between the Islamic Republic of Iran and any country, including Russia, should not be affected by the atmosphere of sanctions," Amir Abdullahian said in the statement. The 2015 nuclear deal saw Iran put advanced centrifuges into storage under the watch of the International Atomic Energy Agency, while keeping its enrichment at 3.67% purity and its stockpile at only 300 kilograms, 661 pounds, of uranium. As of 19 February, the IAEA says Iran's stockpile of all enriched uranium was nearly 3,200 kilograms, 7,055 pounds. Some has been enriched up to 60% purity, a short technical step from weapons grade levels of 90%. Iran successfully put its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, drawing a sharp rebuke from Washington. Western governments worry that satellite launch systems incorporate technologies interchangeable with those used in ballistic missiles capable of delivering a nuclear warhead. Iran insists its space program is for civilian and defense purposes only and does not breach the nuclear deal or any other international agreement. The 2015 agreement has been hanging by a thread since the US left it in 2018 and reimposed sanctions, prompting Iran to step up nuclear activities long curtailed by the deal. A new round of negotiations began in Vienna on Monday in a fresh push to make headway on reviving the deal. The Simurgh satellite launcher carried three research cargoes into space, Defense Ministry spokesman Ahmed Hosseini said, quoted by state television. The research goals foreseen for this launch have been achieved, Hosseini added, without elaborating on the nature of the research. 
In February Iran announced a successful test of its most powerful solid fuel satellite launcher to date, the Zuljana, boasting that it can put a 220-kg, 1,100-pound, payload into orbit. The United States voiced concern about that launch, saying the test could boost Iran's ballistic missile technology at a moment when the two nations are inching back to diplomacy.